Hi there. Oh, I'm just I'm just working. I bet you're interested in what's what's in this box here. Uh, it's from Canadian Gundam. It's 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 kind of special. Do you want do you want to open it up? You want to open it up and see what's in there? Sure. Let's just get this out of the way. And, uh, yeah, let's just let's just open this up. Ooh, it looks pretty uh, pretty nice. See what we got. Ooh, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty flashy. Pretty shiny. Pretty nice. Let's uh, this right there. Oh, well packaged. A little, uh, little dusty. Ah, one one hundredth Akatsuki Gundam Uwashi and Shiranui pack, full set. So you want to see what's inside the box? Uh, maybe I'll. Uh, Dust it off and we'll we'll go to a little cleaner surroundings. The Akatsuki Gundam, as I mentioned, is a 1 100th scale model. It's non-graded. You won't see a master grade or RE 100th. It's probably most akin to like a large high grade is about what this is. Um, I'm outside because I want to showcase just how beautiful the gold is of this kit. Hopefully I won't get too much background noise, uh, but we'll see as the video progresses. So the Akatsuki is a pretty special model kit. Uh, not only is it a 1 100th no grade, but it is Meki plated gold. It's beautiful, beautiful gold, and we'll see that here in a moment. And it also comes with options to make either the Uwashi pack or the Shiranui pack, depending on which pilot you would like to fly your Akatsuki Gundam. So let's take a look at the box. Uh, we see Kagali Yula Atha and Mula Flaga here, the two different pilots of the Akatsuki Gundam and Gundam C Destiny. There you can see that. So let's start, yeah, let's start here on this side. So as we look at the box, first of all, we'll see uh, Kagali here. And this is her uh, flight pack. This is the Uwashi flight pack. Now, Uwashi kind of means the Stellar's Sea Eagle, which is uh, the largest, one of the largest raptors in the world and is known for flying over the ocean and having little white accents on its wings and body. And the Uwashi pack, which is meant for atmospheric flight and sees most of its battle action over the ocean and has little white tips for its accents, well, you understand why it's called the Uwashi pack. Now Mu's pack, his weapon of choice, is the Shiranui pack. Uh, Shiranui roughly translates to fire from the sky and this is a space type pack that has these little uh, beam turrets, wire-guided wire guided beam turrets, kind of the predecessor to the Dragoon system, which is similar to the fin funnel or bit systems in other universes. Now, Uwash, or Shiranui, meaning fire from the sky, it's like a legendary Japanese phenomenon that is yet to be explained, kind of makes sense because these little things, these little beam turrets fly around seemingly of a mind of their own. If you didn't know how they worked, you would call them a phenomenon. So, those two names make sense. Uh, the sides of the box aren't too special except for this. It says gold because this kit is super, super gold. Here you can see some of that beautiful, beautiful gold color. Uh, you get some marking seals here. Uh, this is show, showing off the, uh, the armaments, the shield, the beam rifle, uh, some of the articulation and the different packs. Here's the double bladed beam saber and as this is a newer release there's no yen price here uh, but it's around 7,000 yen or 70 US dollars is what you can expect to pay. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. So here's everything in the kit and you'll see not one but two Canadian Gundam cards. So this is a good time to remind you that if you would like to buy some sweet Gundam kits make sure you go to CanadianGundam.com. Use the coupon code Gumpla Network in checkout to save on your entire order. Again, flat rate shipping on everything that they offer. So, here's kind of what's in the box here. Um, I don't really have a table because I am outside, but you can see it's very gold, it's very shiny. There's a good bit of parts, there's a ton of polycaps here. And let's crack these bags open and look at them one by one. 
So here we have a large runner of polycaps, pretty standard fare, and these stickers and seals. These are included with the A runner here. You get some dry transfer seals and a couple stickers right there for the eyes and cameras. So this is the A runner, uh, typical four colors. Uh, you get some gray, some black, some red and some white. Uh, these will all be used on the Uwashi pack and the shield. The little tips for the wings. Nice to see that these aren't like giant stickers. A lot of other black parts for that. Again, the shield parts, the hands, the beam rifle, and some red bits here and there. Pretty nice, pretty nicely molded. So yeah, that's the A runner. So here is the B runner. You see, this thing is super, super gold. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Look at it catching the light. Bandai does mechi plated gold like no one else, in my opinion. So you see some parts for the head here, uh, some arm bits over here, some other pieces. And the nice thing about this, if you turn it over, you'll see that these parts are undergated, so you won't have those really bad nubs because of the undergating on these parts. So that is very welcome and something that really will make this kit look great. So here's the C runner. Now this is something you're going to see a lot in these no grade kits. These 1 to 100, you're going to have very, very large parts. So some parts there for the shield. These are parts, I believe, for the Shiranui pack here. Again, that beautiful, beautiful gold. I'm really glad I'm outside doing this. Uh, I know it's a little bit of a pain for the noise and things like that, but it uh, really, really shows you just how wonderful it is. So this is the most unique runner on this kit. This is the C2 runner for some of the vents. And what really sets this apart is this color, this like coppery kind of mechy gold. It's not, I mean, not mechy gold, this kind of coppery color. Um, man, to my knowledge, I don't know if there's another kit that has this color. There might be one here or there, but this is a very rare color to see in standard Gundam releases. Uh, again, there might be some exclusives or some special kits that are molded in these colors, but yeah, this is one of the only kits you're gonna see this particular color in. And here we have the D runner. Some large pieces for the Shiranui pack here. It's like some leg and thigh pieces. Some other armor bits here and there. I, I really like uh, the way that this looks right here where these uh, panel lines are kind of molded in. Uh, you don't have to do a lot of panel lining with these kits. It looks really good even from afar. You can definitely see that. So. I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of detailing on this. Uh, this runner is not as undergated. Here you can see not as much undergating, but as undergated as they could. The E runner, some gigantic parts for the wings of the Uwashi pack, Kigali's pack. Huge, huge wings, really nice V fin here. Even the handle for the beam rifle molded in gold there. Some other accent parts. These are parts here for the wings too. Uh, here's another handle. So this is nice. This one is uh, both sides are mechi on this. Both sides are gold plated. Electro plated, you might call it. Back to the Shiranui pack for the F runner. All the different uh, bits, the parts for those wire guided beam turrets here and some other pieces. So a very repetitive uh, process to make those. The last uh, shiny runner right here, the G runner. After this, the runners get more boring, uh, no more gold. Again, a lot of fine detail really shows up in this style of coating.
And we're onto some regular plastic now with the H-Runner, uh, some inner frame, although there's not really a full inner frame, just some inner frame effect pieces here for some of the joints, uh, the hip parts, and some other little attachments and ports, parts for the shield, the collar, and just some other accents in gray. You get uh, two of these eye runners, so let's just look at one. Here's the eye runner. Uh, again, more joint inner frame-ish type parts. These are parts here for the leg and maybe the shoulders. So some pretty nice little parts. That's what that looks like. You get two J runners. For the red accents, parts of the feet, some vents. And these are the J runners. Again, more detail, very nice, always good. The K runner contains your beam effect parts, very uh, special beam, of, beam effect parts for the Akatsuki, a very long, thin blade, not really a round or a flat beam saber effect part, more of a, more of a sword blade there. And this is the last runner, a nice display base for your model kit. Always great to have, especially with a flight type mobile suit. It's nice to have an included display base. So that's all the parts. Here is the instruction manual as the sun and clouds kind of mess with my white balance a little bit. That's okay. That beautiful natural lighting is what I'm after. So you get the Shiranui and Uwashi pack. I'm going to try to make you commit that to memory by the time this video is over. And let's open it up. It's your pretty standard instruction manual. A nice full color list of parts. Some instructions in Japanese. Standard, standard instructions. Very simple construction uh, is what this is. A nice little splash page here with, um, wow, my white balance is going crazy. There we go, a nice little splash page with some like concept art. It looks like that's nice manual 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 interchangeable packs and a color guide here and that's it so leave comments down below on your favorite gold colored mobile suit model kit and any concerns you might have for this particular one and i'll try to address those when the review comes out thanks a lot for watching everyone keep building